It is very common for people to have difficulty imagining the existence of God in a world surrounded by so much suffering. There are so many questions such as, if God exists, why so many innocent people die? Why so many wars? So hungry, so much sickness? These are very interesting questions, however, all can be satisfactorily answered when viewed from the perspective of the great conflict that has settled on our planet. If there is God, and there are bad things on our planet, does this not show evidence that other supernatural forces are beyond God? We think too much of God's role, but you ignore the action of God's enemies. We are in a great conflict, in which the visible world suffers direct influences from the invisible world. Will this conflict be eternal? The Bible says no. Chapter 11 of the book of Isaiah speaks of a time in which our planet will be restored to the original project for which it was created. From verse 6, the prophet gives us some glimpses of this new home. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie beside the goat. The calf, the new lion, and the animal fed up walk together, and the little one will guide them. There will be no harm or any harm in all my holy mountain, because the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. You know, in the face of the effects of this great conflict that we all live in, questions are inevitable. However, there is the right question to ask regarding the suffering. It is not why. Many things are happening that cannot be explained. Also, it is not the best question. For what? Many things happen that are without purpose whatsoever. According to the Bible, the best question in the face of griefs is until when? The Bible does not answer all the whys, not all the four whats, but one thing is very clear. One day the suffering will cease to exist and the war shall come to an end forever.